Good morning, everybody, from Sugarloaf Campground. Uh, yes, I'm still in bed. <laughs> it's uh, 44 degrees outside right now. And, uh, yeah, I'm not anxious to get moving for the day. <laughs> I got the heat on in the van, try, waiting for the space to warm up, and then I'll get out of, out of the blankets, get dressed, and get a quick breakfast, load everything in the van, and head on home. No, it's not because of the temperature I'm heading home. It's time anyway. Yeah, the battery system is uh, down to uh, about 12 volts now, and it's supposed to be up at around 12.6, uh, 12.8, somewhere around there. As usual, the battery system, even with the solar panel, even though it was pulling in 7 amps yesterday off the sun, still wasn't only good for about three days. So. Time to go home, and today it's not going to get any charging at all because it's been raining all day. All night it's been on, off and on rain, and uh, the sun's certainly not going to be coming out, so... Uh, I might as well uh, pack up and head home. I did most of my packing up last night again anyway, so... I'm just going to finish uh, loading things in the van and we can uh, take off. And now let's see, we got the oh, we got the van up to 59 degrees inside here. It was what was it when I got up? 53 inside the van when I woke up. So it's warming up. I'll be able to get dressed shortly. Anyway, more in a few minutes. Well, I finally ventured outside. <laughs> a little on the chilly side. Still 45 degrees out here. Uh, as you can see, I'm dressed up a bit warmer. I actually wish I brought my stocking cap with me on this trip. Who knew? I think I brought the uh, leather jacket with me, or the full leather jacket, I should say. But, uh, yeah, soggy and it's chilly and <laughs> windy. Time to go home.
not even 10.30 and we're already packed up, ready to go. Just gonna drop off the trash bag, I'm gonna use the local facilities here, I'm gonna hit the road. Ready to take off, I can't see where I'm going. <laughs> oh, we gotta get these windows defrosted, or defogged anyway. And of course, it's all on the inside too, so I can't just flip, flick the windshield wipers and clear it off. So uh, I guess I have to find some, grab a couple paper towels and wipe it down. All right, windshields are clear. I'm ready to take off. I'm just going to take this jacket off first because it's going to get warm in here quickly and it's time to head home. I'll catch you at the first stop. Some foggy mountains here. I might be filming outside but it's chilly out there. <laughs> We're all back home in the driveway. Yeah, we gotta deal with the mess of stuff back here. <laughs> As usual, things, things go everywhere. Still need a lot of work on this van project here. Well, that's the end of this adventure. Uh, the next one should be kind of interesting. In a couple of weeks here, I'm heading back up to Coolidge State Park, but it's, it's gonna be a little different than uh, my typical uh, uh, van uh, van trips that I've been taking. Uh, I'm not going to reveal too much right now. Just stay tuned. It's going to be an interesting trip. Otherwise, I guess this is where we're going to end this trip. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this adventure. And thanks to the supporters there for helping me uh, buy me some gas to help uh, help me get on more adventures. <laughs> With that, uh, thanks for watching. Remember, slow down and enjoy life. And we'll talk to you guys later.